Hello and welcome to day 59 of our 90 Day with Jesus devotional. I'm sure you've been having an amazing time learning as I have. Today we're looking at setting your eyes on God. Our text scripture is taken from Matthew chapter 6 from verse 22 to 23 and it reads, The eyes of your spirit allow revelation, light to enter into your being. If your heart is unclouded, the light floods in. But if your eyes are focused on money, the light cannot penetrate and darkness takes its place. How profound will be the darkness within you if the light of the truth cannot enter? Okay, so like you and me, this was the first time. Well, I don't know if you're like me, but this was the first time I was seeing it in this translation. I've always seen this scripture, but the first time I've seen this translation. And then it says, but if your eyes are focused on money, is there any problem with money? I love money, don't I? I do I use money. Money is useful for a lot. I want to buy a yacht. I want to own a car. I want to propagate the gospel. You can't do that without money. We couldn't have even brought this devotion out without money. But that's not what the scripture is talking about. It's mentioning that when the wrong light go, comes into you, when you allow the darkness of this world cloud your eyes, that is where there's disaster. That is where your focus is no longer on God. We're told to set our eyes on God. Why? Because there's so much more in this world that can pull you away from it. There's so much darkness going on around. You turn on the TV, you're on social media, every nook and cranny keeps taking you away from God's word. But let me tell you something. When you set your eyes on God, trust me, it will be the most amazing experience, the most amazing opportunity. You will begin to see things differently. You begin to see and understand things differently. And you see, when that light comes into you, the Bible, it, it says here that the eyes of your spirit are, allow revelation. When that revelation comes to you, guess what happens? You then become a light to others. Light does not shine on its own. It bounces off others. It spreads its wings to others. When you come into a dark room, and you cannot find your way around. When light is shone into that room, what happens? You begin to see. That's the same thing the scripture is telling us today. That's the same thing today's topic is teaching us. That when our focus is on God, when all we do is set our eyes on God, we begin to see things differently. We begin to have a revelation into things that people didn't understand. We have a revelation into the way to train our children, a revelation on how to do our jobs, a revelation on how to make that money that you are focusing on. So do not, what are you setting your eyes on today? Let it be on God. Let it be on his word. That that light will shine through you and then you can pass it on to others. It will so shine that others will see the brightness of God in you. Let us pray. Our Father, we want to thank you for today's word. We thank you because in truth, we want to set our eyes on you. Teach us to set our eyes on you, Father. Teach us to focus only on you. And that in all things, your light will shine through us. And not just in us, but through us to others, O oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. Let us illuminate dark places with your word in our lives. That the revelation of it will bring victory for you in Jesus' name. Thank you, Father. For in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Thank you for being a part of today's devotional. See you soon. Bye.